Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to St George's Hill for the 12th match of the Pro Squash Challenge Series. Charlie Lee representing the home club in blue, playing Rui Soares of Portugal, conqueror of his brother in the previous round. Rui stepped in today at the last minute because James Wilstrop was unfortunately unable to play. Charlie getting proceedings underway. In good length. The court slightly warmer than it has been in previous encounters. Certainly flying off that front wall today. First attacking opportunity for Charlie. It's quite a tight drop. No let for Rui. Charlie, a one love lead. A good wide cross court there. No let given to Rui. I'm not sure if he even asked. As I said, Rui, late call up today, only four hours before the match started. Struggling to find his feet in the first couple of rallies. Totally three love up, but then going for a straight forehand kill just clips the tin. Players have to get their own ball when it flies out of the court because of Covid restrictions. Rui back in hand at 1-3. On the errant shot from Charlie. Gives Rui the stroke, 2-3. Back in it now. Good volley, volley drop from Charlie. Last pace, both players. Charlie playing with a purpose. Bringing in a lot of quick fire attacking lengths into the back of that service box. Putting his opponent under a lot of pressure and then he hits a deeper one. Forces the error. Slightly cheap from Rui. And holding the tee quite well there. Tight squash, slight traffic problem. This is fast stuff. to get in front. Charlie was trying to bustle his opponent into an error there. Almost worked. Really regained control of the rally. It's a great place from Rui. Catching Charlie slightly on the back foot. Four points all. So even Stevens the start of this first game. Quick return from Charlie and Rui wasn't quite alert. Gives him the serve back. His players favouring the backhand serve. Little rat attack rally at the front there. Rui being rushed. And then Charlie going in with a good forehand straight kill. Rui attempting a repost of his own. Ending in a let. Lifting under 
pressure. And down. That time Rui capitalising with a straight Five, kill of his own. Six. As I've mentioned before, this court really does take a, a shot, even though it's got a fast front wall. Only slightly in the way there, but Rui playing the ball. Good to see everybody playing the ball. Good hold and great length. Seven, from Charlie to go 7 5 up in this first game. More variation. Good straight forehand drop from Rui. And a great post from Rui, putting Charlie at full stretch. Really unable to capitalise. Tried to wrong foot Charlie but didn't work. Charlie playing slightly more aggressively than I've seen him. Forcing an error. Rui. Really. Retrieving well, Lee. And that's a nice little hold. And cross court flip. Tucked him up to go 9 5 up. Messing around with too many bounces, Charlie. Getting on with the serve. And that's a great follow up length. 10 5. Five game balls. Young Englishman. Forced a snatch error from Rui there. Rui, who beat Charlie's brother Joe a few rounds ago in this competition. And as I mentioned, stepped in at late notice for James Wilstrop today. So we're really grateful for him to be able to give us a, a match in these barren COVID-19 pandemic times. Hopefully the PSA tour will get back to normal soon. But in the meantime, we've got plenty of PSA challenge matches for you. Next week, Joel Makin, top 10 player, Welsh number one, tremendous squash player who's made his way up through the ranks, awaits a winner of this challenge today. Charlie Lee, back on court. All these players keen to get matches. This is Rui's, only his second match in quite some time. Charlie Lee has played in the English Closed and another England squash event in Manchester. So there's eight or nine matches on under his belt, plus a couple of pro squash challenge matches. So one love to Lee. This time he serves forehand. Doesn't quite find the side wall. Getting in front of him. Coming back a bit. Good hold from Rui. And he manages to just catch the nick. With a broken string. That's quite hard to do. I don't think Charlie realised the string was broken. There wasn't much he could do about that anyway. Sometimes if you do realise your opponent's strings broken, you've just got to hang on in that rally until the ball comes off it strangely and you can capitalise. That time it came off strangely, but get the crack. It's so really to serve one love with his new racket. Good width and good depth there. Setting himself up for the volley drop. Sensibly cutting off that difficult ball. With that good rid good length from Rui. Just scraped it up, Charlie. And lovely length from Rui again. Rui's best constructive rally so far in the match. Important for him to try and get in it now. 
another good whip. So. Quality rally so far. A drop from Lee, who he picks it up beautifully. Another good tight counter drop from Charlie. Goes for the back wall boast. Slightly hesita hesitated in the forehand corner, back forehand corner there, Charlie. And Bruce Ball really died, making the back wall boast very difficult. Rui going for the serve down the middle. Slight traffic problem there. Possible stroke situation. No benefit of video review though. And as has been the case in all of these pro squash ma matches, challenge matches. No arguing with the refs. Seems to be getting on with it. Even though there's plenty of money. And a further challenge to play for now. Charlie put himself in a bad position there. And somehow his local knowledge paid off. He hit the jam between the front and side wall. And there's a little dead patch on this court. That's a good follow up backhand drop. So riding his luck a little bit to go 3 2 up. Reverts to the backhand serve. Pitches it quite nicely with a little bit of cut. Goes for the backhand cross court. Chop off the volley. A little bit loose. Uncharacteristic error there from Rui. Give Charlie a 4 2 lead. Forced a bad position from Rui. Didn't move into that very well. A little bit open, giving the stroke away. Lee looking focused. Rui battling to get into this match. He started the second brightly, but Lee's won a lot of points in a row. Uh, that's a great cross court. Mixing the pace well, Charlie. But that wasn't quite wide enough. Nowhere near. Straight onto Rui's racket and he finishes accordingly. So 3 6. Takes the drive and puts in the forehand straight drop. Slightly reminiscent of Mohamed El Shabagi in one of his favourite shots. Dominating the centre again, but Charlie keen to get back in front. More variety, which is good to see. Quality rally. Slight traffic problem there. Right side, please. Resulting in a simple lap. Well cut off by Charlie, managing to control the ball. Follows it up a superb cross court length. Lucky, you could say, to catch that jam at the back of the court, that nick, but luck is an extension of skill, and that was a skillful shot. Good variety. Forcing the weak shot. Rook Charlie tries to hold and get him back. Quite manage it this time. Goes for the nick post, doesn't quite come off. Retrieves well. Keep dominating. And then Rui went a little bit cheaply there. Being bustled still. Wondering where his next point's coming from. And then Charlie himself, a little bit of a rush to finish it off, got a bit close. 
Four nine. Rui serving. Well, that was a little bit of floated onto a second, a little bit loose. Rui choosing to play that. Might have had a stroke there. Not wide enough, and Charlie capitalising with a fine volley drop. Rui was unable to get 10 4 6 game balls. Pitches the serve onto the wall, forcing a slightly weak return. A great volley drop from Rui. 5-10. Lob return of serve. Good that Charlie tried the variety there, but very squeeze was too tight for him. He moving forward, looking to attack the serve, which is good. a good hold, using his body correctly, not wide enough on the cross court there. Trying to work the ball into the angle. That's loose from Rui. It's under the cosh now. And a couple of good lengths later, Charlie Lee takes the second game, and with it a commanding two-love lead, 11-5, 11-6 here at St George's Hill. Charlie Lee, who's had quite a long period in his career, out through injury, will be looking forward to getting back to the uh, PSA tour shortly. Has to work his way back up from the bottom of the rankings. Looking for inspiration from players who've done that before, people who've been out with illness and injury and come back to the very top of the game. Several examples. Chris Dittmar, Peter Marshall, Brett Martin, all come back from low rankings. Neil Harvey, famously, in my generation, proving that it can be done. It's quite a quite a, a long road. PSA players get a privileged those who've been injured for a long period of time get a preferential ranking, provisional ranking, which they can use for four tournaments when they come back. Time frame for using those has been extended because of COVID. Charlie will be able to take advantage of a ranking around 100 for four tournaments. At least it should secure his place in a draw. And it's up to him to capitalise on those, those benefits. Anyway, two love, Charlie Lee. Can Rui respond? Pitch is a higher backhand serve. Goes for the floated variety. And there's more tins than I've seen from Rui. Not easy for a player to come in on the day of the match not knowing they're going to play one. He was very grateful for the opportunity. One of Lee's few errors so far. But Charlie... played at a fast pace, accurately, and deceptively. It's made it hard for Rui to get into this match.
good retrieval from Rui. We sprayed that. Charlie going for a very ambitious volley trickle boast with side spin, which didn't work. Just left. 2 1 to Rui in the third game. Charlie leads by two games to love. Another good length from Lee. That was a, hell, a held volley, but he pushed deep. And that had the, had the effect of making the, the general rally fairly deep in the court, which meant Rui was on his back feet and Charlie was able to exploit that with a good boast. Cross court from Rui. Just loose enough for Charlie to get a let there. Two all. Starts of the game to being close. Good pick up from Rui and just does enough. Can Rui push on in this third game? Make a match of this. Fast, tight, rally up and down the forehand. Flapped at the back and body bit Rui there. He's recovered. And that is where he does dominate. He hasn't been able to capitalise. It's a quality round, right? important one. Flap that back and volley out of the sky. Lee. Forehand didn't quite get the angle. Great boast from Suarez. Good lift from Charlie. And again the error. And that's been a little bit the pattern. We've, when we've had a good rally, Rui's had a chance to capitalise and get a little bit of a lead. Final shot has let him down. That sometimes happens. Again there. Charlie bearing up. Behind him, with hindsight, probably should have floated. Again, good, good variety. Leaving the lift down here. Didn't quite get that up. Rui, pinning him back. Still in it though. And nudgy drop. You see the pros play a lot in the forehand there. Suited to the lower tin, especially when the ball drops below the height of the tin. Great volley drop from Charlie. It's a tre tremendous rally, and Rui just puts his float out. Lost a little bit of control. It was the right shot. Five three to Charlie. Two love. Cross court drop shows the confidence he's got. Just gets that. That's a fantastic shot from Rui. Charlie going for a little towel down. He's playing at a great pace. Deserves a wipe down. Rui, four, five. Good boast again. Sort of slightly languid, but effective. Great pick up. Oh. Attempted an intricate sh top spin, a half volley, drop shot there, which didn't come off. Manages to pull the next one off to go 6 5 up. Another unusual shot from Charlie. He 
concentrating hard, pitching his serves onto the wall, holding Rui, pinning him back. Good variety. Rui not being able to hurt Charlie when he's got in front of him. That's been the key difference. Either an error or a weaker shot. Not quite getting into his rhythm like he did against Charlie's brother Joe a couple of weeks back. 7-5 to Charlie Lee. Rui Suarez needs a point or two now. That's a good, good volley drop. Not overly tight, but enough cut on it to keep the ball short. 8-5. Rui not quite believing that it's 8-5, thought it was 7-5, and now Charlie questioning it. But it is 8-5. For the purpose. That was a bit loose. Yeah, he was anxious to get away off that ball and ended up moving when he hit it, which caused the stroke to be keep it away. That's a fine volley drop. Very easy to snatch at a tight ball, like the one that Rui just put in on the front forehand. Hard to keep the soft hands and look for the float. Slightly impetuous. Snatching at the ball by Charlie, but he got away with it to go 9-7 up. Another decent serve, forcing Rui to play the ball off the bat. And that normally successful backhand drop. Just made a, a too many errors. A bit, of, a bit of blocking, accidental blocking there. Charlie follows it up. And then Rui can't lift it. Fine win for Charlie Lee. 11-5, 11-6, 11-7. And he goes on to challenge Joel Makin next week. So thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe to the Pro Squash Challenge YouTube channel. And sign the challenge up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. See you next week. Rui, welcome back to St George's Hill. Sorry it didn't quite go your way today, but we're extremely grateful here at the Pro Squash Challenge for you filling in at the last minute for James Billstrop, who unfortunately was un unable to make it today. Um, so how do you feel your match against Charlie? Um, I think he was really sharp today, actually. Like, I was... It was probably not my best performance, but I think it's credit to him. He played a really good squash. Um, it was very fast-paced, and I, I tried to be positive, but my, uh, I think I did too many mistakes, especially when he one love down, two love down. I, I should have changed my game, but I, I couldn't. Again, again, I think it was because he played really well. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm just grateful to have another opportunity to play. Um, and uh, it's all, yeah, thank you for inviting me. I know it was short. I'll take all the opportunities I can to play squash at the moment, and it's, it's just great to be on court again. Well, it's always a pleasure to watch you play. And how were the conditions tonight? Was it slightly warmer than last week against Joe a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, I, th I think so, yeah. Um, I saw you put a couple of heaters around, so but um, on court it was very, very fast. I think it felt like the ball was as dead as the other time I played in the back of the court, maybe because we were just volleying everything. But um, yeah, I did feel like it was a bit better, yeah. Good, well we hope, hopefully look forward to seeing you again very soon at the Pro Squash Challenge. And good luck with the rest of your preparation for the Pro Tour. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rui. Thank you. Great performance, Charlie, against Rui. What was it like having to change opponents midway through the day? First of all, you thought you were playing James Wells drop. How disconcerting was that? Um, to be honest, yeah, I just I was you know very focused uh, for that match, and then 
I just had to try and uh, transfer that exact same mindset into uh, playing Rui. Um, you know, both of them are quality players. James is obviously extremely amazing with his uh, ball control, so I uh, had a certain tactic for how to try and do the best I could against him. And uh, yeah, I was able to just make condense that into focusing on my own game and that seemed to work well today in the end. So was it the same game plan or was your game plan mostly to focus on what you were doing? Uh, just keep it simple really. Um, you know, you obviously have to account for what your opponent's doing and change certain things if certain people do something amazingly well or they have a weakness or something. Um, but I think it's often the best way is to focus on yourself um, and try and create a game plan which is you know, simplified because when you're out there in oxygen debt and everything, you're not going to be thinking about anything too complicated. So um, if you can keep it simple and play to your strengths, um, if you're allowed to, um, you've got to allow yourself to do that by playing good squash. So yeah, that's what I tried to do. Your volleying was particularly impressive today. Have you been working on that? Yeah, it's a certain thing that you, my coach, and Rob, my other coach, have been having a go at me about over the last few weeks um, so you know it's been a, a bit of a focus for that period of time and um, didn't, yeah when that's been on, on your mind for a month or so you would hope that it would transfer into a match um, obviously you don't want to over volley and cause yourself more problems by doing that but I think I got the balance about right today and um, yeah I was pleased with that 